Never Stop Learning Week 140, I'm going to take a quick look at the Apply Image feature available in Adobe Photoshop. So here we are in this document and the Apply Image feature is actually something that's been around in Photoshop for a really long time. My guess is uh, CS2 or maybe even prior. But anyway, I found it a couple months back and I've been uh, making some good use out of it. So here I have this image and let me show you here in the Layers panel what I got going on. So I have this image that's masked off. If I hold down the Shift key and click on my mask, you see I get this red X and it temporarily removes that mask for me. So this is just a random shot out in the streets of Los Angeles. This is uh, one of my rapper buddies, uh, Zodiac Killer. So let me just go ahead and mask this guy off again. Hold down the Shift key, click on the mask again. So because this was shot outside, you can see the lighting is really off. And I created this just in Adobe Photoshop. So the two don't really match up. It doesn't really look like he's actually in this scene. So the best way to get them to actually match is learn your curves, do some levels uh, adjustments. But we want to get this done really, really fast. And um, let's say we don't have time to learn all the curves stuff at the moment. I just want to get this done really quick. So over here in my layers panel, just want to make sure I have this layer targeted. And let's come over here to the image menu. Scroll down until you find apply image. You click on that once, and then you have this apply image panel that comes up. And if you look at your image right here, it's already done a really good job of trying to match this up with the scene behind it. Now, we have a lot of stuff going on in this panel, but since this is our first look, I'm actually not gonna go into it in great detail. I'm gonna save that for another video. But let me show you some of the controls that you might wanna use your first time in this panel. So. You're gonna look right here. The source is uh, whichever image you're working on. You'll see it mirrored here. Now, right here you have the option of switching the layers. Right here it's uh, set to merge, but you could uh, scroll down and try the different layers here. Uh, merged is working the best for me right now. You have the option of changing the channels here. Like if I switch to red, you see it updated here. But again, I'm gonna leave it at RGB because that looks pretty good. Now, I usually leave these guys alone, but I start playing around with this blending uh, section here. So if I click on this drop down menu, you have all these different blending modes you could choose from. For the image I'm working on right now, multiply looks really good, but in some other cases I've used soft light and sometimes I've even used overlay. So like I said with this image, uh, multiply looks great. So I'm just gonna leave it set to multiply. And the last thing I wanted to show you was this right here, opacity. Right now it's set to 100, a lot of times you're gonna to wanna to back this off a bit. So I'll enter 50 and hit tab, and you see it's updated here on my artwork. So you could also hover over the word opacity, and then you get this little scrubby slider. This is great for when you're working with the stylus, but I actually use it a lot when I'm working with my trackpad too. I'll just click and drag, and start introducing uh, this apply image effect little by little. Once I get the look I'm going for, I'll go ahead and click okay, and you see, Apply Image has done a really good job of making these two images kind of work together. It actually looks like he's blending in with it a lot better. Now, there's still a lot of work I could do. Uh, I could do some curve and level adjustments to really get it to look nice. But after just a couple clicks, I'm really happy with the progress I've made. So there you have it, folks. That's your first look at the Apply Image feature available in Adobe Photoshop.